Hi everyone, this is Herthagos. Thank you for tuning in to another video on my channel. And this time I will not talk about a Kickstarter game, which I like to do a lot, I know. <laughs> but um, today I got a different game for you, Palm Island. You might have heard about it. Um, and I would like to show it to you today. Have a little playthrough. It's a very short and quick game. So, um, yeah, let me go right, get right into it. Um, also, if you like the content on my channel, but you have any suggestions or you would like to see me play specific things, let me know in the comments or contact me via Twitter. Um, you will find my handle in the description. Um, and now let's get into the game. So, you see there are a lot of cards here. Um, well, one thing I want to say, this is a very small game. You see, it's just a deck of cards. This is the German version, so I don't know what's gotten into the Germans. Probably nothing good, but it's a huge box, and if you open it, you <laughs> only half the box is actually used. So I have no idea what this is. Um, the international, or at least the American version, as far as I know, is really just in a small, like in a small case, so it's much easier to take with you. Um, this game can be played solo, or it can be played cooperatively with two players. Um, if you play it solo, you only need these cards for the base game. So you see the footprint is really small. Um, this is all you need to just normally play the game. And that's what we're going to do today. Um, there are more cards in here. One of the, um, like the black ones, the black ones are specific, there are specific achievements um, you can have, in, you can reach in your, in, in, in your game. Um, and then you can unlock these cards. Um, I haven't really bothered with it yet because I'm still having fun just playing the base game. But this is something I will get into in the future. And let me know if you would like to see something like that on the channel. And then you have a second deck of cards. Oh, sec second deck of cards right here with a red ribbon. This is for the second player if you play cooperatively. I haven't done that yet, but um, as far as I can see and what I've heard is that this game is best played solo. It's with most solo games that you can also play cooperatively. Mostly the solo mode is the best. All right. So I can put this here um, because with such a small footprint, um, we don't need a lot of room. All right. We'll need the scoring for later. All right. Um, let me just walk you roughly through the game and we will get to know the exact rules as I'm playing. That's how I usually like to handle my playthroughs, so you don't have to you don't have to sit through ten minutes of rules explanation until we can get started. So, in generally, you are on an island. This is the story, and there are specific monuments and huts and everything you want to build. But to build those, you need raw materials. Um, let me just put the I think I need to put the camera a little bit more into focus. Does it work like this? Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I messed it up. Give me a second. So, like this. Like this should be okay. So, um, right, for that you need resources. So, what you do with the deck of cards, first of all, you make sure that this quarter white circle is in the top left, which is the case. I already prepared the deck. I always prepare the deck um, when I'm done playing, so I can get right into playing the next time. And then you shuffle up the deck. Um, so let's just let's just shuffle the deck. There we go. And now there are two things we do. First of all, we have the round tracker. We have eight rounds all together. And um, so you put that in the back. And when we encounter it again, we went through the entire deck. We have to turn it around to the second round. This continues until we're at the end. So um, this is island themed. It's in German now, but this is not too bad because um, what you see here with um, the words, you don't really need that. I will kind of tell you what that is, um, but the words are not very important um, because the theme is pretty much just pasted on. You could take any theme, put it onto that game. Um, the island theme is pretty much mm, unnecessary. All right. So what we can do first, before we start the game, we can take a look at the deck once and kind of look where everything is. So um, these resources at the top are resources we can we can get. Hmm? We just put the card in the back and tilt it like this. 
So you see the game is played only in one hand. We need the left right hand to move cards, but that's it. We play it only in one hand. So you can just plop down on the sofa and just play this game. Put on the TV, watch some YouTube, maybe watch some of my videos on YouTube, and then you can play the game in the meantime. All right, um, and here are all the actions you can do in the top in the top half of the card. So you see, for, that means free, so it doesn't cost anything. And um, we can just turn the card like this to use the raw material. We can also pay um, specific materials to turn the card like this, or when it's the blue one, like this. And then the card gets better and better with time. In the end, what we want to reach is that these victory points you can see here are in the top left. We want to get the most points, if, uh, the most, the most, most points possible. So I will just stop playing. Um, I haven't played this in a f in a month or two, so it might be that I'm doing a pretty bad game. But I will just showcase to you how this game works. Have a little playthrough, and then you can decide to pick it up yourself. It's a pretty cheap game. It's easy to play, small footprint, so it's not bad. All right, so let me just check first. So we got some raw materials in the beginning. These are huts we want to level up. They don't give us any raw materials, but they give us victory points. Um, all right, some fish. Here are, is our rocks. Rocks are very important to build the temple and everything. Um, and these are very important tools. These are the tool makers. You see, whoa, they give us a lot of good resources here. Okay, and the temples are pretty much in the back, which is good. I like that. Okay, so we looked at the deck once. Now we are able to look ahead, I think, two, three cards altogether. And we always need to interact with the first or second card. If we want to discard cards, we always need to discard the top card first. So let's start this card here. Um, there isn't any, not a whole lot we can do. Let's just take the wood for now. Here, the same thing. I will just turn it around for free and take the fish. Oh, the fish. And now you can see, we have the huts. We can already turn them around for one victory point by paying what we have. But I think I will wait because like getting victory points is something we should do in the later rounds, like round six to ten, uh, six to eight, maybe five to eight. In the beginning, we should try to build up resources. So I will, I will probably skip on doing that. Yeah, let me just skip on that for now. Maybe it's a mistake, but we will see that. All right, fish, yeah, we will take another fish. This is a trading post. Um, we don't really need to do anything there. We could trade in two fish for f to have a fish and a wood, which is not bad. Because one thing we need to keep in mind, we can only have four resource cards at a time here. I only already have three. If I have a fourth one, I can't keep any more. So I would actually pay these two fish as noted here and turn it. Turn that like this, so I have a wood and a fish. Here I have another wood, and now we are coming. Now we're getting to the part that's important. This one is the um, is the quarry, and we need rock, and we can get rock by paying two wood or two fish. So we would pay wood now. How do we do that? We just put that card back into the deck, right where it is at the moment. So we pay two wood. And now we can turn it around like this. Put that card in the back, and next time we come across that card, we will have rock we can use. Here's another quarry, but we can't use it at the moment. Let's see what we get here. Nothing. If we had another fish, maybe I shouldn't have traded what I did before. Then I would have two fish and could actually use that, but that's too late now. Okay. Um, this one is important. We will do that. Maybe it's even better than using the stone. So we can pay a wood and a fish to turn that card around. Let's do that. Because then we will get wood and a fish next time. So next time we come across a card, we can actually use it for free and have two resources at a time. Which is not bad, but we want to get there to have three resources. That's the temple. The word is pretty similar to English. Um, but we can't do anything with that yet. So let's take that wood, put the temple in the back, put that temple in the back, put the huts in the back. 
Here we have a market. We need to upgrade that market as quickly as we can too, but at the moment we can't. So let's put that away. Um, we have a fish here. We will keep that fish and that's it. We are done with round one. So we didn't do a whole lot, but we upgraded the tool makers and we also upgraded the quarry. These are two pretty good moves, not bad, not perfect, but not bad either. All right, let's continue. Let me just grab a bit of tea. All right, that was good. Now we turn that around to round two and the game continues. So we could upgrade the wood, um, the wood maker here. So the lumberjack, I mean, um, it wouldn't give us more wood, as you can see here, but it would give us a victory point. Um, and we will get more wood later, probably. Let's not do that for now. Let's just take the wood for now. Let's also take the fish for now. And let's take use these two to actually upgrade the huts. Because if we upgrade that, we get one victory point. So we need to pay a wood and a fish. Let's pay those we have. All right. So I hope you can hear me. My headset just turned off. So I hope it's okay again. I will have to check after recording. Um, so we will take that fish here too. Um, this time we will not trade in these two fish for the fish in the wood, I think. Well, we might have to actually. Hmm. But we will have too much. No, let's not, not do that. I don't like the trading post too much. All right. So now you see we will have too much stuff here. Well, actually, no. Let's take that wood too. And now you see the quarry. We can upgrade it again with two wood and one fish. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we want to do. Upgrade the resources in the beginning to have them to have better and more resources later on when we want to upgrade our building. So two wood, one fish. Yes, you will do that. So one wood, two wood and a fish. Let's put them all in. We have one fish left here and we can turn it around like this. And then we next time we come across that, we will have two rocks and also two victory points. So thank you very much. All right, the other quarry we still can't upgrade probably. Well, now we might because we upgraded the toolmaker. We can take the toolmaker for free now, have a wood and a fish. And also we have another wood and another fish, another wood here. So we'll take that one too. We can't upgrade the temple yet because we don't have rocks. But we could upgrade the quarry again. We would, of course, lose a few resources because if we paid two fish, we would also have to pay that wood over there because we can't split the card. But I mean, that's fine. Having a lot of resources is important. I know I tend to repeat myself, but <laughs> mark my words when you play the game yourself. So, um, so let's pay two fish for now. Put that a little bit more in here. All right. And turn around that card like this. So next time we will have one rock then. So now we already have three rocks we can get in the deck which is enough for at least upgrading one temple. So we can't upgrade the temples yet. Let's put them in the back. We can't upgrade the huts here. This is the market. We could now pay a wood to get to have a rock. Might be a good idea, but actually let's do it. Let's not do it for now. Let's take the fish here. Let's also take the wood. Because you see here, now we could pay two wood to upgrade the market, which we, hmm, which we should do. Yeah, let's do that. So let's pay two wood, one wood here, one wood there. And then we can turn over the card like this. Now we would, next time we come across the market, we can hand in one wood to receive these two resources, which is not bad. And we can even upgrade it more later on, as you can see here. And that's our goal. All right. Um, take, let's take another fish. And now we have two fish to upgrade the next quarry. Like this. 
And what you just saw was a really good round because we I think we upgraded two quarries, we upgraded the market, we upgraded a lot of important cards. So now we turn this around to round three. So we are one quarter done with the game. Of course, I'm I tend to speak and explain a lot now because some of you might not know the game yet. That's why you will probably watch this video. Um, but if you play the game yourself, it's much faster. You can finish the game in 15 minutes, maximum 20. When you know the game, you have played it several times, you're done in 15 minutes. All right, so we can't do anything with the huts yet, but let's see what we get here. So we get a fish, we get a wood. Um, the trading post, I don't care about that. So let's put that in the back. And here, we can't upgrade the quarry anymore, as you can see. It's fully upgraded, two victory points and two rocks. So we have those two rocks now. Nice. The tool makers, we can upgrade now, and that's what we will do. We would have enough to upgrade a temple later on now, but if we upgrade the tool makers, we will get three resources every round, which is perfect. So we will pay all of that, one wood, one fish, and one rock, in this case two rocks, to turn that card one more time, the last time, no, not quite the last time, to receive these resources. At the end of the game, when we don't need these resources anymore, we could turn it around one more, once more, for four victory points. Then it will not give us anything anymore, but victory points. So let's see if we can actually make that. Let's put a wood here um, and a rock. So we can't upgrade the temple yet. We can't upgrade that temple yet either. And the living, uh, the, the huts, we could upgrade those with a fish, and there's a fish. So we can always interact with the top two cards, but if we have to discard something, top card first. So now we have one wood and one fish to upgrade the huts. We upgraded a lot of good resource cards, so let's start on some victory points. So now we got one victory point, which is not too bad. We got some wood here, and we want to upgrade the market again, which we can do. One wood and one, one rock. If we upgrade that, we get we can trade any, th any one resource in to get three resources. That's insanely good. So we paid these two. We will take that fish. The quarry. Ah, we cannot upgrade the quarry, so let's just take the rock for now. And we are in round four. At the end of this round, we're halfway through with the game. So soon we need to start working on victory points. All right, another fish. Let's take that. Let's take the wood too. Um, this is the huts. Um, let's upgrade the huts now. So one fish, one rock, and one wood. Like this. We turn it around, and now we get three victory points. All right. So the trading post, I really don't care about the trading post. So let's put that away. We will have two rocks here and see. The tool maker we upgraded completely, so now we have with one card, three resources, which is insane. Now we have a little problem because we only get we get more resources, but we can only store four cards here. So let's take the wood then, and then pay two fish and a wood. So one fish, and then we will take that fish and that wood of that card, like this. And turn that around one more. So next round we will have two rocks instead of one. So let's do that. The temple, we need one fish to upgrade it, but we don't have it anymore because we just spend it. Actually, there is a fish there. So we can take that fish here. One wood, one fish, and two rocks. We can pay all of these to upgrade our temple the first time, which will give us three victory points. That's a lot. Later on, it can give us even six victory points. It's, up, it's possible to upgrade the temple to 10 victory points, but that's, I think, only possible if you have these black extra cards I spoke about. I never managed it to upgrade them more with the base set here. All right, the living huts, we can't, we can't do anything with the huts. Well, we might, we might. So you see, the next card is a wood. So we take that one, and we can't spend that wood here to get three resources, and that's exactly the three we need for the huts. So let's do that, let's spend that take these three resources and spend them to upgrade the huts again. That's three victory points. All right. 
So, fishing. Yeah, let's take the fish. We cannot upgrade the quarry, so let's take that one. We should try to upgrade that at some point. And we will turn that around to round 5. Now it's the smaller numbers that are important. And you see, the entire game is played in one hand. It's it's a great game to play wherever you are. Um, I did play a few button shy games on my channel and some more will follow in the near future. Um, but these games even, are, even have even less cards, but they need more table space. This one doesn't, this game. If you need something, just, you know, just put that in your coat. Maybe just put, um, put a rubber band around it, put it in your coat and you can play it anywhere. That's pretty cool. All right, we will take the fish, we will take the wood. We cannot upgrade the huts here. So let's put those away. We don't like the trading post too much, but we have too many cards here. So we will pay, mm -hmm. let's pay, oops, two fish. Here, yeah, two fish to get these two resources for now. And two rocks. Uh, so now we have too many resources here. Well, you know, let's take these, this rock, uh, this is wood and the fish to upgrade our lumberjack. It will give us still one wood, but also one victory point later on. So like this, um, we will take the tool maker for now. And we have a few rocks here, but too many. But then again, we can upgrade the temple. So one wood, one fish and two rock. So let's put that rock away and also hand in these resources to upgrade the temple to three victory points. So now we have enough room again to take the quarry here, uh, the, the, the rocks of the quarry, I mean, and the fish. The temple needs two fish, two wood and three rocks. We don't have that yet, so too bad. Um, yeah. Let's use the time to actually take put tent and one wood and one fish to upgrade that lumberjack too to a victory point. Why not? And we could hand in a wood, fish or a rock to get these three resources. And we have a lot of rocks here we don't need at the moment. So let's hand in two rocks to have the three resources here. So we can't upgrade the huts at the moment. One fish. Well, you know what? Let's keep upgrading our stuff first, our resources. Let's keep upgrading those a little bit more. So one wood and two fish. We can hand these in to do so. And then we can upgrade our quarry one more time, which is good. We will take the wood here and we are on to round six. Okay. So you see, we are almost done with the game. We don't have that many victory points yet, but we still have a little bit, a little bit of time. So let's hope that works. Just give me a little, a little small tea break. When you're speaking this much, you just need a little bit of fluid off and on. And I'm an avid tea drinker. Tea, tea drinker. All right. We'll take the fish. The huts we cannot upgrade. To do so, we would need another wood and another fish. Um, okay. But that doesn't work. No. Because we would had, have to hand in two fish or two wood. Yeah, so we can't upgrade the huts for now. And I don't care about the trading. Well, no, I don't care about the trading post. Let's take those two rocks. We could upgrade the lumberjack one more time. Let's do that because, uh, or, yeah, I think so. So let's hand in two rocks and a wood to turn that around. So next time we get not only two victory points in the end, but also two wood starting next round. That's good. Let's take these resources. We would need another wood to upgrade the temple. Yeah, but not this round. Next round, maybe. So there's more rocks. Another fish. Well, we cannot use the fish at the moment. So let's turn in one fish to upgrade that fish. 
to a fish and a wood. Okay. Yeah, the temple, as I said, we cannot upgrade the temple at the moment. No, we can't. So let's put that temple away. Um, do we upgrade the lumberjack over here? I think we do. Yeah, let's hand in that card to upgrade the lumberjack one more time. And we don't need that many rocks, so let's put in hand in these two rocks to take the market resources here. Um, and we will take the fish to... We would need one more wood to upgrade these huts, but I think we can't do that at the moment. Well, well, actually we can. There is a wood. But we can only store that many resources. So what we have to do now is we can take the wood, but we need to get rid of something else. So we just put in these. And now we have two wood, we have two fish, and we have, well, three rocks, but we have enough rocks to upgrade the huts. So let's put all of that away and we can turn around the car huts one last time to get six victory points in the very end. At the very end. All right, that's it. Now we turn the card around like this. We are in round seven. That's the second last round. All right. There's a fish. There is some rocks. More rocks. We can't upgrade the huts at the moment. No, we can't. Uh, the trading post. I hate it. Um, we have two wood now here. That's nice. Um, and these. Okay, so let's hand in that fish to get all of that. And now we need two wood, two fish, which we don't have, and three rocks to upgrade the temple. And, but there's fish. So if we hand in these two wood or these two rocks, which would be better? Well, let's hand in the wood for now, I think. If we hand in the two wood, we can take this one. So we have four resources again, as we four cards. And now we have two wood, two fish, and three rocks. So we can put all these in and also this one to upgrade the temple again to six points. And that's pretty much the maximum, as far as I know, with the base set of cards. Okay, like this. This temple we probably cannot upgrade, but let's see what we get. We get two more wood. Oh, took too many cards. Two more wood. Then we can take one fish. We can hand in that fish to take the market cards here. We have two wood, three rocks, but we are still missing. A, we are still short of fish. So, well, we cannot do anything with the temple, probably. Let's take these two rocks for now. Yeah, no, we cannot do anything here. So we will have to upgrade the temple, hopefully next round. Let's see if we can manage that. Um, so just to get victory points, let's hand in these resources here to turn around that lumberjack one more time to get one victory point more. These huts are completely upgraded and we are at the last round. So let's take the fish. We have too many rocks. So we take the rocks, you see? We didn't use these rocks and they came back up, so they are lost, put in the back. Um, we need to get rid of something here. Let's get rid of the fish and take that. Um, then we can pay two wood and two rocks. We will do that to upgrade the lumberjack to five victory points. So it's the last round. We just need victory points now. Um, we will get this. So the huts, two wood, we have that, two fish and two rocks. Well, we have three, but that's fine. We will pay all of that to upgrade that to six victory points. Nice. Now, um, the trading post, I don't care. The temple, we cannot upgrade any further. So let's take these two wood. Well, maybe not. Let's take the fish for now. Let's hand the fish in for these resources here. Let's also take the rocks. 
Ah, we need one more wood. But we can't get it now. Well, then let's take this wood here. Can we get another fish? No, we can't. Well, let's turn in the wood here and the rock to turn around the lumberjack for more victory points. Let's do that for now. I'm still keeping the temple here. But we can't upgrade it anymore, so let's put that in the back, the huts in the back, and we're at the end. We can't turn the card anymore. Here's the German word for end, so we're done. That's it. We're done with the game. What we're doing now is two more things. First of all, we are counting all the victory points. So, that's 2, 4, 9, 15, 21, 23... 25, 27, 30, 36. And now we're looking on that chart here. Um, this Is this focused? Yeah, pretty much. Let me see if I can get in some more focus, like this. So, um, for the solo game, 36 points is very good. So, the first one is okay, the second one is respectable, the third one is very good, and the fourth one is excellent. And we got 36. If we had four points more, we would have even have excellent. So it's a pretty good score. 36 isn't, isn't too bad. So yeah, that's our score for the game. So thank you for joining me um, while playing this game. I hope you liked it. Um, I enjoy the game a lot. To be honest, there are way better um, solo games there. There are quite a few I can recommend. If you would like a list of my favorite solo games, let me know. Um, I can... I can record a video with my favorite solo games. Um, Palm Island definitely is not my favorite solo game. It's probably not, I don't know if it's even in the top 10, but it is a great game for when you're on the road, um, when you're not home, um, you want to take something with you that's just really small. Great thing is the game is really easy to learn, but it's quite tough to master. You saw I got a pretty good sc score at the moment, um, but I have played the game quite a few times already um, so I know the game quite well and, and I know kind of what to do what not to do to receive a decent score so um, yeah it's pretty hard to master but very easy to learn so it's a great game that will keep you occupied for a while and it's pretty cheap I think I got that for like 10 to 15 bucks like euros but it would be much, much different in in dollars probably so yeah, if you're interested in that, um, try to see if you can find it someplace, if you can order or buy it at the local game store. And, well, thank you all for sticking around. Um, you can, if you have any ideas for my channel for further videos, let me know in the comments. You can also contact me via Twitter. You will find everything in the description. Otherwise, thank you all very much, and I will speak to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.